which will help us to sustain whatever miracles you have received. Whatever healing you have received, God believes that you can sustain it. Amen. It is not God's responsibility to sustain it for you. I don't know how you receive that, but it is your responsibility. Just like you woke up this morning, you made up your mind you were going to have a shower. God doesn't do that for you, does he? Are we still here? Yes. All right. So I believe that in the next few minutes we are going to enjoy and learn from this scripture. I'm just going to focus on the laws of the mind. The laws of the mind. How we use and make the most of our minds. But I'm going to share only two. Praise God. Hallelujah. I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 12 from verse 1 to 2. NIV translation says, Therefore, I urge you, brethren, or brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform. Any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. Amen. Amen. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. God expects you and I to know what his will is. See, most times people when we talk about God... All the focus their minds on is the God side of it. So we talk about what God can do. And many people seem to forget what we have to do as our responsibility. There is a God side of it. And there is the human side of it. Isn't it true that God put his call upon this servant of God? But he had to accept it. He had to receive that call and be willing to take action. Many people have been receiving the call or had the call, but they are still intending. And they have not started doing anything yet. So we can agree that intentions don't get rewarded. Whether with human beings or with God, actions get rewarded. Amen. Now, I was just thinking about the testimonies of the great things that God has done already in this place. See, it took you years to get to the lifestyle that you are sustaining now. That's right. If you want to alter that lifestyle, it will take you time. Some of the things we do today, we learn them without being aware that that's what you were doing. You learn them as a child. And as a child, those things are just taught to you. So you learn by example that was shown to you. Or those who had strong influence on you, they did it or they taught you and told you, this is how to live. You copied it. Some you just observed. And because of the respect you have for them, some were your idols, some you are models. You just like that. You know, as a child, you don't have much option. And say maybe to up to the age of seven. I don't know about now much. I don't know about now because yeah. now seven years old knows so much. But I know that up to age seven, that you, you're still having a lot of influence from your parents. And then from eight to 14, you begin to receive the impact of your friends. Friends matter to you. In fact, when you see your best friends, the world is complete, isn't it? <laughs> And then from 15 to 21, it's your models. You're looking for those to copy to be like. And at that stage, we all know more than our parents. I don't know. I don't know if it happened to you. But you definitely know more than your parents. Anything your parents said, they are old school. And so we, either by what you were taught, or by what your friends shared with you, all by the things you now copy willingly. We developed lifestyle. We developed habits that influence the kind of results that we have. 
That is not the God side. It is your own side. So today, if you and I want to alter our lives, we have to now relearn some things and deliberately delete some scripts. I mean, computer is making me to know some languages now. <laughs> you know, software. I'm told, I didn't read computer science, but I'm told that it is the scripts that make up the software. Anybody here can help me? Yes. That the scripts yes. make the software. Yes. But I know we have something like Microsoft Word. You can't use it like um, CorelDRAW. Why? Because of the software. And because of the scripting of the software. So at every stage of your life that you were learning, whether consciously or unconsciously, whether your parents or your influencers or your, your guidance, they pack them into your system, you were learning. Or the one you sat in the classroom and they say one plus one is two. In our own side, we, we started by singing. One plus one, two, one plus two, three, one plus three, four. And then that's how we learned. Whether you did it formally or informally, you were learning. So when you are here, you have come into the church and you say, I want to be a Christian. I want to surrender my life. I want, to, I want Jesus Christ to be my Lord and my Savior. When you do that, your confession has made you accepted in the beloved. Amen. But that will not change your lifestyle. That will not alter your habits. Your habit will, you will now have to consciously learn. Are we here? That my father is a pastor doesn't make me a good Christian. 